if you want to hit the ball further, stop trying to rotate hard from the top of the backswing. This is one of the biggest sins I see in the golf swing. Sin might be a slightly strong word, but basically when people try and increase distance and add power, they think, let's rotate. Let's rotate hard and fast in the downswing. And it's the biggest mistake you can make. So what we tend to see when people try and add juice to the golf swing, they'll tend to do it too much with the torso and try and rotate hard and fast with the ball. Instead, what we're really looking for you to do is to feel that we can get the pressure down. And getting the pressure down means you can't rotate early. There will be some subtle rotation. I would call it a recentering. But essentially what we're looking for you to do is try and feel that we get the arms down and forward to create vertical force and also help the ground push you back up through impact. This also helps the correct sequence. When you rotate early in the downswing, what tends to happen is two things. One, the club will get out in front of you, so then you have to stall, which reduces power. Two, if you don't then stall, you'll cut way across the golf ball, hit massive slices and pulls. So it kind of looks like this. And that's just horrible and weak and wipey across the golf ball. Wipey, meaning that the club's doing this across the golf ball. And you're Mental GPS will tell you to open the club face when you do that to get the ball more on target because you'll soon get fed up with hitting the ball left. Trust me, you will. So we're really looking to feel that the arms can get down in front of the trail hip and low as we can to the ground. Again, that pushes the pelvis back more, which helps stop this early extension. And we do want this extension move, but we just want it later. Having that extension move later in the golf swing helps to keep the arms moving towards target, helps to raise our radius, helps to push off the ground, create those forces, and all the things that we want to do. So the reality is from this video, the big thing is we want you to feel that you can pump your arms down whilst not rotating. So in the downswing, what we'd want to see is there'd be a little bit of slide. I know people get scared of slide, but the best players in the world will slide five to six inches in the downswing, so there is a lateral move. As we slide, there's a subtle, subtle recentering. But we want really this trail arm to be in front of this trail hip, and we want to feel that these arms go as low as they possibly can. And that's created from the rib cage going down, and the arms going down. And then, then we rotate, and then we extend whilst trying to keep our tilts and that gives us perfection in terms of power, plane, path, accuracy, ball and turf contact, all the things that we'd want to see in the golf swing. So let's go through how we achieve that. It's all very good having the theory and the theory will certainly help some golfers out there, but let's look at how we can achieve that. So one of the best ways of feeling this is what I call pump drills. So a pump is where we pump up and down. So if we take our normal address position, go to the top of our backswing, and just feel like we would pump down. Again, we're trying to get the hands low, the hands kind of slightly forward, so towards the golf ball, the rib cage down, and I'm trying to feel there's no rotation. But you'll see here with all these swings, I am rotating. I'm trying not to rotate, and that's the whole point. If I try and rotate, then all of a sudden the hand path will start going out, and the rib cage will stay elevated. When the rib cage stays elevated, I have to then hang back and stall and fish for the golf ball, which causes a secondary world of problems. The more we can feel that we go down, and it's got to happen pretty early, it always happens before we think, and then the secondary movement is a much more natural reaction. So we don't have to really try and do that. It's very, very natural. So what I want you to do, top of the swing, pump down, pump down, and then on your third go, try and hit it, creating the same kind of movement. Now, I felt quite low to the ground there, particularly more than normal, but that's exactly what we're looking for this. I quite often will talk in comments of the videos that we're trying to influence the golf swing. The drills sometimes are not necessary the exact positions we're trying to get into. And my golf swing is nowhere near perfect, so I know 
I don't always get in all the positions that I say we should do. But what we're trying to do is use these exercises and drills to move your golf swing and move my golf swing nearer to what is appropriate or perfection. Will we ever achieve that perfection? I doubt it very much, but what we always try and do is improve what we have, which gives us more consistency, better control on the golf ball and lower scores. And happier golf, that's all it's about. We want these crispy divots after the golf ball with the most natural power we can create without having to change our gym routine, you know, if we have one, and, and change our body to be able to hit the ball slightly further or slightly better. So pumping down and then going to natural swings. So let's show you a natural swing. So the best way of transferring that to the golf course is to try and make a rehearsal that would simulate that practice. So we might do this behind the golf ball. And then forget it, then get into our normal standard routine. And then hit. And I'd be happy with that on the golf course. I hit that straight, ball and turf, decent distance. I was completely, completely happy with the outcome of that shot. Again, what we're trying to do is influence what you do and make you play better and enjoy your golf more. If you're new to the channel, please give me a like and subscribe and hope to catch you back here real soon.